a six month little girl. She's happy. She's healthy yeah. this morning. Thanks partly to a safe haven. It's called Safe Haven Baby Box. Yes, and just imagine going from a box to a home. This is her story. Take a look. Not showing them on video for privacy. The family says they're thankful that there was a program in place that allowed for the birth mother to drop the newborn off someplace safe. It wasn't real until we actually got the phone call that I could go in and be with her in the NICU. On January 2nd, this little girl, <laughs> now about to be six months old, was left inside a safe haven baby box located at Ocala's Fire Station 1. The temperature controlled box is set up to sound an alarm to first responders once a baby is placed inside. Within minutes, the baby now named Zoe was in the arms of first responders in seemingly good health. The firefighter who discovered baby Zoe called his wife, letting her know what happened given the couple's struggle to adopt. We've been trying for almost a decade to have a family and everything has kind of just not worked out for us. So we're like, okay, don't get our hopes up. Don't get our hopes up with a handwritten note to the doctor from the first responder saying he and his wife would like to adopt the girl. To their surprise, they were given the green light to begin the adoption process. Everybody was just in disbelief, honestly, that she was hand delivered to us almost and that everything had kind of worked itself out to where we could bring her home two days later. Open the door, place their infant inside. Safe Haven Baby Boxes CEO and founder Monica Kelsey says she placed the baby box in Marion County in 2017 with more than 150 others placed around the country after being abandoned as a newborn herself. We've had 10 this year uh, in 2023. This is a record year for us. It's working and this little girl is proof that that these boxes are needed in Florida. In April, via a court proceeding over Zoom, Zoe was officially adopted by the couple. And she's learning all sorts of stuff. She's taking in everything around her. Her new parents say they want Zoe's birth mother to know they commend her for the decision. We really felt in our hearts that we wanted some to let the mom, the birth mom know in some way or shape or form that she is safe, she is happy, and she is very loved. I think that it's very respectable what she did. And she is very cute. <laughs> that was Troy Campbell reporting. Zoe's adoptive parents say they would like to see the cost of adoption go down so that other families could also begin the process. Safe Haven Baby Box says that they are working on placing a second box in the Gainesville area. Definitely saves a life, right? No doubt. And who knew there was a need for wow. these all over the country? And some of them the are Man. they're organizing so they can get air conditioning in those boxes too because oh, well, hopefully the babies don't stay in there that long.